Ah, the resolution changed again. Now that the game got something really oh, because it's loading everything. Graphics, change resolution to this, and now it's off center. I just go right there. Moving everything to align itself correctly. Well, let's go investigate. And back to this, because I know what you're talking about now. So, we got everything, except combination to a safe, because there was a safe in the basement. Is there anything important? It's just an extra note. I have no idea. But it is true, I didn't find anything about the safe and the bells in the basement. And games like these aren't unsurprisingly usually have multiple endings. Let me get to what we're talking about. Since now the house is fully explorable, the fastest way would actually be through here. Down to the basement. La 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 la. Stars, what was over here again? Over here was the entrance to. Uh, right, this area. Right, right, right. The area which I'm thinking of is a little bit lower in the basement area. Down here? Yep, down here. To the basement I go. So. Talking about that. There was these bells here. There was one for the library, though. The library wasn't hung there, so we need to find that. And there is this safe here that I put the horse next to, you, even the horse's position saved. There's a map right next to it as well. I'm not sure if the map has any hints, but there's a combination here. I didn't figure that out, not to mention with that, there is a room over here that the lights will turn on, and I don't think there's much in it, but I can't see too much, of course. But the safe combination here, I didn't figure this out. And it's right next to this area with the bells I can read. There's one missing from the library. There's a note here. Hmm? Cool, cool. If I look at my map, I'm currently up there. Upper floor. Mm hmm. Upper floor. Yeah. Upper floor. Well, there's one bell missing, first of all. Missing the library bell, which I guess. Here's the form I missed too. Samantha Greenberg Arbor Hill, two half heart pendants, custom engraving, L plus S. Total of $79.89. Very expensive for that. And I didn't see this cassette tape. It's like a drug. The first time I was in my room in the middle of the night, I woke up with Vaughn and he was kissing me. Alright, I gotta make a look out of that. I know. Not gonna happen. What? Oh. Gonna take it like that, so yeah. Alright. Right here. It was probably something, I'm guessing something's actual. An old book by your grandfather. Joyce, to clearly understanding Richard Greenberg. Page 2, University of Oregon. So a book for my granddad. Somehow I'm suddenly just finding a lot of stuff I apparently missed. Torn out picture of my granddad's face. Not exactly sure why. Trunk and a scrap of paper. 
39, 14K gold hard pens and two halves customized with 10 layers, name, states, initials, and anything you can dream up. Gift box is important, L plus S. 10 king gold and child three pierce, drop earrings, handmade, and also brand and present. Yeah, scrap papers. Why am I just suddenly discovering all the stuff I missed? Just by walking backwards. <laughs> Alright, anything else I apparently missed in this area? I missed a lot. Let's see. Alright, let's see. Nothing there, nothing here. You can check back here though. I can see if there's anything here I missed. I read that stuff earlier. Nothing through here though. To the top, to the top. Oh, it's definitely a house exploration simulator, I can say that about this game. Going up here into the dark, probably the darkest room in the whole entire place. Oh, there's a light there, fucking A. Now, <clears throat> Open sesame. Bunch of coupons. Put back. We have the note there. Highlighters. Just notes of every shape and size. And I read this before. Don't know if I did. Hi, Lonnie. So if you wanted to come over to my house till the afternoon, that would be cool. I can drive. It's kind of far, but I can drive. You home too, so hopefully that's fine. Right back and leave this in my locker if you still want to. And we can meet in the parking lot after six and then. Yeah, I'm totally in. See you there. Then I'm gonna kick your butt really heavy. Hadouken! You. So you know what they say about the best light plans of mice and men? Yeah, turns out it applies to Street Fighter too. At least I worked up the courage to walk into the 7 Eleven and ask for a turn, but. All that practice at home did not exactly translate in the wild. So after I was finished getting my butt kicked, I followed them outside while they smoked. And that was when she asked me if I was that psycho house girl. But then she said she's always really wanted to see the psycho house. Her name is Lonnie. She's coming over tomorrow. So is it Psycho House because of my uncle and see the spirit thing and still stuff? Purple paper. Katie. Uh tease whatever you found. Don't tell mom and dad the attic. Okay, please, whatever you found, don't tell mom and dad the attic. Alright. Going over this way as I continue to find things I apparently missed. So yeah, yeah. Let's try this room next. There. Write books and all that lit up. No, not like that. More vinyl records, more books for my dad. A letter. Samantha, please give this to your mother. Janice, thank you for having Danny over to your uh, to your men's home. He has missed having his friend Samantha in the neighborhood very much. Let's see. I uh, don't know who this is from. Samantha, I just really had to read. This is, I think, uh, let's see. Samantha in the neighborhood very much. Danny asked if he could uh, lend Samantha his Nintendo Street Fighting tape. And I gave you, and I gave my permission. He needs to spend uh, less time with these games anyway. No hurry. Uh, res no hurry returning it. Let's, uh, let uh, Samantha know that she is welcome back to our, tra to our house. To visit any time. Sincerely, Mary, it's not Daniel's mom, the one guy. When you live in one place your whole life, your next door neighbor is kind of like your default friend. And Daniel only got weirder over the years. So moving away has been a good excuse to, like, not see him anymore. But he did always have the good Nintendo games. Maybe I'll give him a call. Default friends. Guess we're gonna have more as it continues. Kind of weird shirt there, though. The things you can reobserve when re-exploring locations, especially when the whole house is now opened up to it. Glasses, whatever. Coffee, whatever. You know what? To be fair, I didn't actually look back here, did I? 
Which is fine, because there's another note here. From desk of Donald Phillips, publisher Mercury Books. All right, dear Mr. Greenberg, I write to inform you that unfortunately Mercury Books will, know will, be, uh, will be unable to publish your follow-up to the accidental parody, despite the low sales, the accidental savior. We went ahead with publication of the second book in hopes of the John Russell series catching on. However, sales of the second book have been, in fact been lower than those of the first, and so our stewardship of the series must end here. It was. It has been a pleasure working as your publisher, and we wish the, you, you, and John Russell the best in your future endeavors. So these books were canned. Here is a copy of Dad's second book before the republishing. Apparently, the cover made a big difference. Grab a bottle. Bottle, bottle of whiskey vodka. We already knew that he was no longer published by them, but there was a note about it. Going through here and anything under here. Apparently not. Silly old pencils. What the hell? Somehow I always I'm still just looking around, see what's anything I miss. Because apparently I missed a lot. So going on, going on. Let's see. Throwing stuff is part of the fun. Also knows if I've looked at something or not. It's kind of like mental notes. Hmm. That was the pamphlet I read earlier. I would know because it's thrown on the floor. Crumble notes. Hey, are you there? Uh, my girl Sam? I'm uh, Tommy. I'm at the book. Uh, bland you were you get this and right back hi Tommy yes I'm Samantha and yes I'm new what's up I just thought since you're new maybe you could use a friend I don't have uh, a lot of friends either and so I thought I'd ask someone I'm sorry if you don't mind you mind he goes, no I don't mind what did you want to ask was it just your uncle who went psycho does it run in the family no reply Ah, what a jerk. So yeah, apparently I guess the Psycho House name was because of my uncle. Fair enough, fair enough. Let's see, go through here, tissue boxes. Anything in there? No, no, nothing there. Anything in the way in the fireplace? Actually, matchbook. I noticed the matches there earlier, but it doesn't do anything. Candles, candles, candles. Mm hmm. Nothing back through here. A button, same Bratmobile. Put that back, I guess. Stuff around there. Nothing that passed all those videotapes, so yeah, yeah. No, I read that earlier. I think I read this. Hmm, yep. Anyways, nothing on the back side, nothing on the front side, and a whole lot of pizza. Nothing there. Nothing in the drawer. Yeah, it looks a little pillow for it. Grab Poltergeist book. Haunting and Poltergeist. Leonard O'Rookie. Poltergeist and Hauntings. Find out the truth behind stories that we were familiar, even on the pagan ancestors. Discover how to tell a hoax from a genuine haunting, how to categorize and understand strange phenomena you may encounter. Learn about the unhappy spirits that share the earth with us, and what you can teach us about our connection with the mutual world. Put that back in our little pillow fort here. There was actually a note earlier about the pillow fort they made after getting cold in here. The whole thing about the uncle. When I close this, open up, the chase player is gone, news report continues, there's the book there. Still really nothing hidden here, it's just all these X-File tapes, etc, etc, etc. There's another book about my dad, and uh, no one's think I read. Yeah, this is about him, my dad gained his job there. Fair enough, fair enough. Alright, it's inside the closet, turn the light on. Uh, read story. The heaven of the edge of the world, Samantha Greenberg Grooves. Story, The Turtle Group, Part 1. 
Shows a picture of uh, turtles and all that. Captain Allegra looked off at the ocean. It went on forever, or so it seemed. Someday she would find the edge and get to the paradise there. Then she heard a can can't actually this is this part one? Yeah, this is part one of the story I read earlier. Then she heard a cannon, fire, boom, it was the black pirate ship. She yelled, I thought we lost them in that horse island. The first mate said, looks like he thought too soon. The black ship came up along the side. Captain Black himself came out on the deck of the black uh, ship. He yelled to Captain Allegra, you're never going to find the edge. That are ain't the point no paradise and your father were a liar. Captain Allegra yelled back, then why do you keep following us, you imbecile? The first mate yelled out, we'll stop you, Captain Black. You'll find the edge of the world, and you'll fa see her father was no liar. Val kept going until Captain Allegra's ship got away. Now west, she said, and the ship sailed towards the sunset. So it was the first part of that story. Apparently she wrote it again years later. As an expression. So in the story of expressions. Would that say okay with me? No, then. Nothing else really here that I can tell, at least. So back out I go. Alright, to the next area. I guess there's still more for me to uncover. It still sounds like someone types here sometimes when I'm going by. Hmm. Was this crumpled note something? John Russell opened his eyes and saw them. The stars, twinkling as if they were lying on the grass in his family's yard in Massachusetts, even though that place was a million miles away. No, he blinked, the sleep from his eyes. Looking through the carbon-reinforced safety glass of the space station, Archimedes, yes, he was a long way from home, but the future needed him. John Russell's head swam. He felt incredibly drunk, despite not having touched a drop in hours. He vomited into his feet, his bare feet. He stared for a moment, XXX, processing his sick flecked toenails, scanning up with his bare skin, shins, bare knees. Uh, he was completely naked. He looked up and met the eyes of a gorgeous blonde woman wearing a tight polymer fiber tunic. The fabricated, the strain that the seems to contain her generous bosom was exblazed with the phrase, matter transference operator. Then he passed out. John Russell had crossed the gap, the gap in time. Only messages had passed before, but now as a man they needed him. Now more than ever. Changing the past was no longer good enough. That was uh, good enough. The instructions from the council had been clear. What to procure, what, uh, what to insert, how to transport his bodily, bo his bodily across time. And now he stood there on the bridge, the war starship. Archimedes, command of the vessel, because he obviously is drunk while he's writing this, who had saved the president's life twice before, can only help him serve clue to the destiny and fate of the galaxy. Yeah. Thank you there. Open this up a little bit. Not a whole lot going on there. Uh, there is the manuscript thing again. For, uh, yep. For this book that he wasn't able to release with the old publishers. Is there a hand note there? I don't know, I've probably just seen things. But almost like, oh wait, that's the lamp thing, right. All the notes about John F. Kennedy. Notes to try and keep up with oneself. There's the vodka I found earlier. Not a whole lot through here either. Nothing in these departments. That's what you want to learn more about this examine form. Keep the fan on, because might as well. Now then, the library. Library this in a minute. Not a whole lot to comment on. There's the thing that we pulled out earlier from the lid. Several copies of the old book my dad apparently wrote. A lot of stuff through here. Here's the secret thing earlier. Let's check my backpack and all that. All the journals which I've collected. Maybe I'm missing four of them, because that would completely fill this. The map and items. The attic key, the basement key, that combination, the spare key, that, this, etc. I gotta keep looking around a little bit. Make sure it's not like some super hidden secret someplace. Tissue boxes, right. 
Nothing there. Nothing in the cushions. Uh, that's nothing over there. Yeah, it's just a little glyph. There's a little tree glyph uh, clipping to the wall, but... Let me go down here. Not down here, but the place where my uncle was. All the things he left behind. Anyways, though, we're going to ignore the odd hidden passage and go on to the next area. Hmm. Next up, this direction again. I know I switched that place clean. Closet. I think I got everything. Alright. Let's see, there's the family picture, all this stuff. Anything I missed in the bathroom, I don't imagine so. How about the front porch? To be fair, once I found the duck, I kind of just went in. Don't think I missed anything, though. It's not like I can go outside. So, probably not. Just stuck here in the store. Staring at Christmas decorations. Hip hip hooray. Looks like our Bibles are still having a good time, though. And the duck is happy, too. Close the door. Now, before I go upstairs, let me go check this section, and I'll go upstairs first. You could say it's a downpour. Cricket noises. Oh, boy. Over there. Read that before. Pack of train cards. Not much more than that. Alright. Examine that before I did. Read the personal calendar. That's a window, not a door, okay. All the stuff to potentially see. Like, like, mighty me. Nothing through there too much. I guess I'm gonna open this up. Loads. Loads. And clothes. That's the tape recorder, I'm pretty sure. Anything in the closet? I couldn't say. Yay, I got the game. I got to stick out. Apparently. Anything else that was him? Oh. Samantha. S is for special. A is for adorable. M is for merry. A is for affectionate. N is for nice. T is for thoughtful. H is for honest. A is for admirable. So it's like that one I found in the basement, so we both had them. Did I even look inside the closet drawer? No, I didn't. I didn't read this before. <clears throat> the King's Labyrinth, Chapter 2, Frame Threads. Captain Allegress, still in her flowing skirt and sturdy jerkins, descended the single shining thread into the lower cavern of the labyrinth. She and the first maid on their own now grew closer to their goal. The throne room of the dead immortal king of the island. The first maid slid down the line onto the stone floor. She swept chalky bone dust from the front of her canvas trousers and looked up at Allegra. Silken thread, nigh unbreakable thanks to the enchanted moss that inhabited the island, trailed behind, leaned their way back to the entrance. From further into the labyrinth, a moaning began to echo. The moaning grew louder and clearer. It turned into words from some ancient language they could not understand. The king's cursed voice, the hairs of the captain's Allegra's arm still in the end. She looked back at the first mate, whose eyes remained locked on the blackness of the passage for a moment too long for noticing the captain's gaze. The first mate nodded silently ahead. Following the cane's ghostly saw on deeper and deeper in the labyrinth, they came across a rocky gap spilling forth otherworldly blue light. The great basin of the, the great basin of the, king of the dead cane's throne room lay below. Skeletal and rotted robes, the cane was hunched over the blue orb topping his royal scepter. Shadows of his bony fingers danced on the walls like ghouls. As he sang, willing souls flowed in one by one through the cracks in the cave walls, pulled into the orb, causing it to glow brighter and brighter. Behind the keen, a long staircase, a uh, hoon from rock led into, those, into the chamber from a passage out at the top. Now, Allegra said, We have the advantage in numbers. I will draw his attention then you. But the first may interrupt it. No, I am a smaller and quicker, and you know of dealing with mystic energies like these. I will circle to the other side. I get the king's attention and lead him onto the mercy on a merry chase. She's held up the silk line. All traced by this visible thread, of course, Allegra said. It is a good plan, but perhaps we should go together. The first mate shook her head. 
You know this is our best chance. Don't be afraid to, uh, afraid for me. They grasped hands and exchanged three tight squeezes. Their palms growing warm. The first mate uh, uh, tied the shine thread to the belt of her trousers, gave a quick salute and a wink, and dashed off. Allegra waited, staring diligently across at the top of the stairs as the first man was to appear. The king continued his, wait, no, no, the scene stopped. The king turned and began walking up the stairs. Allegra wanted to call out to do anything to stop the first mate from running head first into danger. She tried tugging on the line to signal her, no use. The king was nearly at the top of the stairs when the first mate burst through the bastard's way. She skipped to a stop, even from across the yawning basin. Allegra could see the first mate's eyes grow wide. She turned and ran, summoning his undead power. The king left the ground, levitating, blind behind her with distressing speed. From some dang passage much too far away, Allegra heard the first mate scream. She was already running around towards the sound. The line in Allegra's hand went taunt, then sh shuddered. It fell slack to the stone floor. As Allegra ran, she was gathering line, twisting it around her arm. She came to its end. The unbreakable thread dangled limply, its end shredded and frayed in her hand. She tossed to the ground, ran, ran, ran. Yeah, yeah. I read this before with Street Fire codes. Oh, I accidentally. No, 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 no. Cancel. What the fuck was I doing? I have no idea. Oh, actually, there's something under this, isn't there? Alright, put that away. What's this? Hi, Lonnie. I wrote this the first period and left it in your locker on the way to school. It's what all the cool kids are doing, I've decided. Write me back. Also, here's an idea for something to draw two cats on a motorcycle. Hey, this is a good idea. What's all the cool kids give actually doing is sending each other pages in their beepers. But we're cooler than them because I guess what? They can't put this on the beeper. Aliens, Texas, two motorcycles on. Two cats on a motorcycle. Your drawing of cats was so good that I added a background to make it even better. Maybe I should just stick to riding though. Haha, <laughs> I like it. How did you know they were going about to be abducted by aliens? I'm looking for Mr. Prish right now. I feel like he would probably have lots of cats. Also, like his secret shame is he uh, watches uh, Goslo religiously. I'll ask him about it after class. He said he doesn't have cats, and also he's never watched Goslo. When I could see it in his eyes, he was lying. Fair is fair. Okay, got that. That's nothing hanging from here. Can't close the door, so do I. There was that from there. Nothing here. The next files thing. Nothing under this bed. Groove Kurt Cobble, 1967-1994. Cool, cool. And just a lone little eraser. Lamp on. Cup stains. The Groove. Exclusive AIDS in Africa. Solemn live Eddie Vern Weezer. Max Martin, wait for the murder of Strange Hedge. All's fair, all's fair. Pirate flag, which is of course about the Captain Oliver thing now, that I know. Nothing here, nothing around there. How about this little thing? Yeah, that's the Reed College thing we read earlier. Green green binder, nothing really through here. I'm sneaking and I'm stalking. Just doing the talking. Nothing in this discarded shelf over here. I guess in the end that was what was over there. I read that earlier. Alright. So many things potentially check still. I guess this one's broken. Seems like it just has towels on it though. That was what we picked up earlier, the paint thing I threw in there, which had the story earlier about it. Anything behind the heater? Guess not. That would be a fire hazard if it was. Be careful with heaters, kids. Even though it doesn't seem like it, they can definitely start fires. Especially if it's a flammable substance such as paper. Okay, nothing over there, nothing over here. I like the TV on. This creepy old static. Close the drawer, read the letter. 
Green Binder and other things. I found that book through there earlier. Given by Rick. Anything in the restroom. Can't open those cabinets, apparently. Nothing in the restroom much either. I don't really expect the restroom to be the hiding shit tons of secrets, but then again, maybe it's that suspicion of mine which makes us other it just so happens to be shit tons of secrets here. The lightning is especially strong tonight. No. If we walk over this direction, now we could go in the secret passage in the closet. Secret passage a go go. Looks a lot more obvious now that I knew where it was. I'm not going down to the library right now. If I read the book in the attic again, do you think I'll get the ending again? The attic's this way. Just a few more things to check out. I didn't really check here again, so... Nothing through here. There's paintings. Uh, put the tissues there. I think I read this. Yep, that's the end of Rick. Alright, sneaking through here. Sneaky sneak. Lamp on. Makes me sad. I'll probably never see that really cool sewing machine animation again. There's the flowers. Ooh, a cassette tape. Alright, I need to find a record player someplace. I mean, there are several all throughout the house. You'd think it wouldn't be difficult finding one, but I don't think there was any around here. Cassette tape. There's one. You can go there. And now put this one in. exploring this area. I mean, people like different sort of things. It's not my style, but I also think it's kind of just not for me, but it's understandable because different people. Music is one of those things that everyone feels differently about. Uh, this is that book about, yeah, being fit. Did I open this earlier? Oh. Wildfire, he saved her from the raging flames, then things really heated up. Secret of my mother. Alright, Opal the Rouge is one of the most distinctive writers in our genre. Leslie Allen, Tour de Force, Wildfire is a uniquely beautiful display of Warwick's talent and mode. Alright. So, let's see, put that back there. Nothing through here, gonna sneaky snake away this way. Now then. So, my mother's having fantasies about it. So anyways, let's go that way. Peekaboo? No sugar? Can't even look at the pirate outfit correctly. Not gonna turn off the lights, though. Another diamond is painting. Another cassette tape. Calculated. Heavens to Betsy. For Sam. Heavens to Betsy calculated, nothing can stop me. Decided, three, stay away. Calculated, waitress, hell, intermission, 24 x mean, this name. Uh, donating my body to science to terrorists. Don't look here. So, it looks like there's something else written in here. Uh, it's gonna be hard to get it to appear though. Is it says something else on it. Uh, I can't get it. I mean, you guys see the thing like written under that, right? I 
Oh well. It's probably there somewhere. Record footage. The cup should go there because there's a cup stain there. Yeah, it was about the library writing. All right. Going through here is the piece things together. Back to the attic. Is there anything I missed up here before I go back to the basement? The basement and that one last hallway are the other things I need to check again. Then I'm set, but I still haven't found anything about that one thing. The clue to the lock is probably in the basement, but I haven't found it yet. Stuff there about this. All these sort of filler stuff. There's a lamp that would make my life so much easier. Can't open that. Can't look directly at the pictures. Anything down here? Nope. I'm guessing that if I open up the book again, I'll get the ending. On account of the fact that. I wonder what would happen if I left the lights on when I read it. Something to think about. I'll try it whenever I get back to it, but first I'm going to finish exploring the house and see if I can fucking figure out that lock which I haven't opened up yet. Now then, let's go back down. The house would be pretty hard to take care of, that's the one thing, if you have a big house like this, harder to take care of altogether. There's that other video cassette thing I had. Alright, just a few more portions of the house to explore. You're next. Actually, I'll look back down here when I'm in the neighborhood. Anything else in this possessed area? Darkness. Ruin the ritual. Totally ruining the ritual. Come at me, ghosts. You get soda can instead. Am I glitching someplace? I also have some fucking honey snaps. Anyways, though. <clears throat> Go over this way. Nothing really through here. Did I miss anything here? Oh yeah, I didn't I didn't read this. Dear Jan, it's so good to hear from you again. All this now new house business sounds like quite the adventure. I remember this little dorm room we shared uh, freshman year. When we were uh, miserable, fantasizing about our dream homes. I always said I wanted a mansion. You said you just wanted a house in the woods. Look who got both. Somebody up there likes you. I could use some of that magic. Send me some uh, lotto numbers. I'll pay. I'll play them seriously. But I shouldn't be complaining about this good old split love where you've had since. But we got transferred to Winning Pig. We just got a uh, new vinyl siding. Jealous yet? Let me know if you uh, over want to trade places. So how are the girls doing? Has Katie left on the big European adventure yet? Speaking of jealous, right back soon. I miss your. I wish you miss your roomie, Carol. Alright, what was that? I guess I explored through this drawer, so let's see. There's the telephone book again. The one that we're apparently in love with because it's in like every place around here. Magic. Nothing there, so yeah. Now then, ooh, there's something hidden down here. Falcon Josine, Sam, sure, February 22nd. Service, shampoo, set, color, rinse, perm, conditioner, manicure, procedure, subtotal, so it's just a uh, getaway trip thing, I guess. The room is flickering. Nothing on this fucking sofa, I can say that much. Did I throw something over there? I must have thrown that over there because I can't reach it anymore. Here is Froth Magazine Tincture. Apparently so. Read that earlier. Fine and fine. 
Now this leads off to where I'm going to go eventually when I finish off looking for this. There was this I picked up, the stub. And all the numbers there, put it back there. There's a little note slip here. Christmas and those bags and such, but only a few more rooms to actually check and I'm done sort of blazing over all this. There's a note from Rick. Pamphlet, mom's purse. Library, stuff over there. Nothing stored around here. There's the comic I threw down on the ground, my postcard. Something else under the dining table, at least. I'll distract it on this. I know I looked at all this, but I'll read the letter again. Yep. There's the button for. I didn't miss see the button, but it's the button for the gets, apparently. Read that earlier. This was a letter about uh, my parents being in denial. Alright, right. Circle back around. We got forks and glasses. We got things about strawberries, I guess. Alright. Now this leads back outside to the kitchen where I threw all the food out. Is there anything through here? I kind of stashed this hallway because it just seems like that. Just a hallway. You can see outside at the front porch from here, though. And in there, no serving. No side either. Look at all that freezer magic. You know, in case you ever want your freezer to be a mess like how I'm leaving it. All the food thrown out. You know how pissed my parents going to be able to get back. I think they're going to be pretty freaking pissed. I mean, if I was their parents and I found the house like this after I came back from my anniversary trip, I'd be pretty pissed. <laughs> Look at this good old uh, raspberry jam. I no, it's okay. The food's just fine. Mr. and Mrs. Farm Blair request the honor of your presence at the marriage of their daughter, Helena Margaret, to Mr. Richard. Maris Paint remarked, Monday the 4th, June 1995, and a half past four o'clock. Yep, so that's Richard Gain, uh, Mary. Sam's schedule, working at Crown, Burger at Bethard, and when Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, 3 p.m. There we go. What does that say? Pizza! Now then, I'd punish kids if they did something worth punishing. Discipline is important, I believe, at certain points in people's lives. I know kid likes discipline. I definitely didn't like discipline, but if you're not disciplined, then you also run the risk of being spoiled as well as thinking you can just get away with anything. Honestly, discipline exists for the very purpose that uh, you need to grow up to be responsible adults. Sign up there. Nope. Discipline has its reasons, and there is good reason for discipline. And throw there. But, but, ice cream. <laughs> That's okay. Shipping label. Intriguing. I like the cell sort of music this game has. Like this music playing now, but it's almost unnoticeable. But at the same time, it's effective. Creating a sort of mood, a sort of tenderest mood to this area. Let me just listen. Let me walk over here, it might be more hearable. Now it's harder to hear, but there's definitely music playing for a second there. Sounds like uh, silent pianos in the background. Oh, yeah, it's still there. I'd make a good Viking. 
Well, judging by how much I'm pillaging my own house, I guess so. <laughs> the potato chips are still in there. Add something to my concoction. Those lights there? That would make my life so much easier. Get back in there. Room there. I think these potato chips need some good old salad dressing. And what sort of potato chip ingredients is not complete without some salad dressing? Let's see what else is good for my concoction. Ketchup. Almost perfect. There we go. And finally, more potato chips. Get in there. There we go. My concoction is ready. Well, is there anything actually important in here? It just feels kind of weird. Salad dressing. Mr. Levine's own thousand salad dressing. Buy salad dressing. It feels kind of weird that there was actually nothing in here. I mean, there's a dustpan. There's a bottle which I knocked down. Stuff in the kitchen. I can't close the door here because the pantry has no doors. Bottle of stuff I knocked over. So yeah. Signs or magic. Just a bunch of glasses. We have some books and stuff in there, and then this is our garage out in this direction. All the paint cans. In case you like paint cans for whatever reason. Why would any of you people like them? They're paint cans. Now there's the books earlier from my dad. I'll close this for a second. Again, paint cans. Let's open the door that way for the moment. Let's see. There was a note I got earlier. Nothing in here. Pretty sure I can't walk up that. No, I cannot. Uh, in here was the things I think I picked up. Soda can, milk can. Just stuff to recycle. A lid on top of it. In here was a crumbled note. That was from my parents that had that thing earlier. Can't go outside. They can see apparently car tires. By the fact it's a pretty small garage, I can see a car having a hard time fitting in here. But you know what? Whatever. Whatever works for people who lived here. Which is us. Close the friggin' door. Move it that way. So, kitchen conquered, I think. Hope I got everything. Did I get everything, kitchen? I believe so. I very much believe so. Alright. Then we move down here. Look at the painting. There is a crumpled note which had a thing which I missed before. Now we're back in the basement area which I missed stuff before apparently. <laughs> Hello toilet. Nothing really reading the scrolls of history. I mean we got toilet paper. I mean, you guys like toilet paper, there you go. You get all your toilet paper thrills. Magazine. Toilet paper. And over here, I like detergent, throwing stuff around me. I'll leave this thing on, simply because I'm a terrible person. The slits. Well, you know where they want to go. Look at me go through that fucking shirt. Now back to the greenhouse. I need to check all for secrets. Apparently there's not very much to say about the secrets around here. There's my dad's book full of notes. I'll put that back, I guess. This was his mug, right? Nothing really hiding here as a secret so far. 
There's the note where I got the information about the hidden passage behind the door. My dad's stuff is a plain cup, apparently. The drawers had nothing in it. Pamphlet about where the family was going this weekend. All's a fair that ends fair well. The only other place I don't think I've now explored fully is the freaking basement. So I guess that's what's next after putting the soap in. Or missing. That works too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basement time. It won't be as simple as a code. Well, I need more information about the house. I don't know what the combination's for. The rest of the stuff is that code. You have to look into a series of numbers. But potato chips. Wait, I took out the trendy potato chips and pizza. Put those potato chips back in that there pizza. Girl justice now. Yeah. No, no, it's okay. I'm pretty sure that has something to do with it. Let me look at the rooms. I have a theory right now what it's about. I'm going to ignore that noise and go down here. Because my theory right now, based on that, because I was thinking that probably has to do with the fact that each of these rooms. Let's see. Guest room, Mr. Mason's room, front door, library, kitchen. So I don't think it's what I thought. Never mind. I was thinking I had something to do with the buttons I was picking up. Because they're all music bands, and music bands have been mentioned multiple times in the course of the game, so. Look in the park. First, let me go back upstairs. I need to explore this room in a second as well and go up here. Let's see. Did I look over here? This leads, yeah, to the guest room. I guess I didn't really look at the guest room last time I was through here. 1963. Well, that was easy. 1963. 1963. I guess I didn't read that before. 1963. Now then, Kenji, you were just wrong. <laughs> you say nothing to me on that one. One, nine, six, three. This probably is just going to be for another memory I missed, but that's okay. All right, we got bottles. Of hydrogen peroxide, oil of clove. I know there's a note, I'm just looking at everything else first. Billeron, Aquadol, directions for use, uh, solution of morphine tyrate. Morphine, a syringe. Anyone here want to get poked? We can get started immediately. Now then, there, another syringe, and a letter. Return to sender. Mary December sought bought jewelry, let's see. 98501. Dear sister, I write what shall be the best last appeal to go unanswered, one way or the other. I feel a uh, I feel a pressure as on an island 
watch uh, with I see if I, I feel prison as on an island with no jailer no human soul for uh, com for comfort only my only my open one my only one my one mind examining itself endlessly uh, endlessly endlessly searching for relief I'm uh, in the year since uh, transgressions. I have sought no absolution. Only f okay. It's hard for me to read this. Only love for forgiveness. In good faith, I have removed myself from all temptation. Uh, hmm. Sacrifice to prove my commitment. However, I can imagine uh, some mother, uh, let's see, some mothers, uh, mess. Oh, ah, fuck, it's hard to read this. Some mothers messing. I have yearned for nothing more than to than the acknowledgement of my own. Let lean, let fain. It's hard to read this. My own fiend to be tamer as human again. I breathe uh, to breathe the air of human spirits once more. By grace, if by grave ever been a watch like me, a wretch like me could be sacred. But I do not expect it. Uh, no reprise is Mr. Redhold and if I accept my sentence and my day simply cease to be a hell brother from So I think it's a letter from a dead Yeah, this is a letter by Oscar, my my uncle my you know, my uncle who died before here. Who's writing a letter to his sister, which probably means my mother. He's saying that he asked for forgiveness, sentence and simply day one of my life. Okay, so it's a letter from that. So it was a letter from my uncle. The one, actually, Terry, age 12, Thanksgiving 1963. So that's my dad. 11, age 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Yeah, yeah. Fun times. Looks like cobwebs. Seems like it's just firewood in here, but that actually, there's a note here. It's hard to see, but there was a note here. Order Blues Month, two corners can. Oh, fuck, this we hard to read. Girl. Okay, there's something which you can try on the option, which I need. Language, overlay text. Order this month, two cases candy, two cases rum, one barrel whiskey. Governor remains very pleased and jump in county bleed. This range is over some time. Most reads like this. In a year since transgression, I have sought no absolution only bear from all temptations that Christ proved my commitment, however I can imagine. So as mother's passing, I have yearned for nothing more than the acknowledgement of my own kin, to be treated as human again, to breathe the air of human spirit once more by grace. Even a wretch like me could be saved. The fucking, the fucking horse scared me. Because <laughs> the horse is just coming out of there by itself. Holy fucking hell. I was like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> it's the fucking horse. Look at that fucking horse go. <laughs> it's, it's like it's a mind of its own. It's just trying to keep on going. So... <laughs> mm -hmm. I guess that horse has to get going. I wasn't paying attention. I was reading the note. I was like, wait, what is that? Let's see. By grace, even a wretch like me could be saved and not expect it. If not response received, I shall henceforth accept my sentence when they simply cease to be. For the brothers love always. Oscar Mason. I'm gonna leave you there, you fucking possessed horse.
Yai. Just uh, read this for a second to see everything. I see. I see. Mm hmm. I don't know what the bells are for. If they are for anything. Another one of those buttons. However, though, I've been everywhere in this house now, so I am going to take. Actually, no, I haven't explored this room now since I got the code. There's like two more rooms I need to explore fully, and then I'm done. No, I read that earlier. No, I read these uh, newspaper clippings earlier. find anything here. So yeah. Nothing back there either. So walking back into the darkness as I climb the stairs. Do da do da de do. Mm -hmm, a message for you. Up these stairs to this closet I go. The guest room. Apparently this note was hiding itself from me behind this book. Oh, that's why I didn't see it before, because there's a bookshelf. Right, that explains why I didn't see anything like that before. I saw the note, but I thought I'd read it before, because it's in this room, but little did I know, it was the combination to the place I was at. Uh, that's Katie's message about me using her room, because she won't need it anymore. And up I go. Last place to investigate the attic. The attic of destiny. Well, they've all got a message for you. It's time to end this thing and see what happens at the end of the end. I have looked around this house pretty thoroughly now, found things I've missed. Make sure there's nothing else I'm gonna miss before I go. I turn out the lights and read this. Fun times, fun times, fun times. Let me change the resolution. The resolution is off right now. It always defaultly goes back to that form. Alright. Give me a second though, guys. Yeah, yeah. Accept and back. Which is to say, time to do some exploration. Where, oh, where to go? I guess, wow, 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 that was. Uh, need to check for a second on something. Is that happens every time you go down here? Ha. It's like a slide. Not that I'm complaining, but yeah. What I was gonna try is in this room. A lot. Where room was it in? In the parents' closet, right. For God so loved the world, he gave his only son. Lights go out. I'll take the cross back out of here. Oh. Fun times. PK. That's a vampire thing. I'm not a vampire. Now oh, then. Now, let's 
go this way. Gonna try something else. Apparently, something about this duck. For five dollars ninety nine cents, they really never took that off. Let's go duck on an adventure. Whack! Imagine the game where it's like first person ducky. Whack! 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 Shoot my first person duck gun at anyone who comes at me. Whack! Watch that duck go. Whack! I'll fucking do a first person duck. Boo, 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 boo. Oh my god, all the enemies coming out. Whack, whack, whack. Now we're going over this way. Oh my, they fucking terrorists in here. Whack, 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 whack. Alright. Now we have to go up here. The slow struggle for saviorment. Whack. Now then. This way. Whack, whack, whack. Oh my, we're having, we're having a struggle here. Little ducky basket. Whack. Now you know the ducks found happiness. Or something of the sort. Still though. I open these drawers. Photo paper. In case you don't have enough paper, there's some more. Paper. Paper. Beautiful, beautiful paper. Can't go into the desk. This turns out I'm not a complete ninja. Actually. That room is a bit deeper in there than I had thought. I was really paying close attention previously. How many audio logs do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. I feel like I'm probably missing four of these though. It just sounds like it just looks like that fit there. And I read somewhere else that someone said that they had heard 21 entries, so I know I'm at least missing one then. What the fuck did I miss? I couldn't tell you. The difference in speed between going up and down the stairs is ridiculous. You go down so fast, but up so slowly. Honestly, I go about the same speed up and down ladders and such, so I can't say too much. Regardless, though. Lighting's off. Ooh, spooky. Alright. It's lying up there. It's probably just a tear in the wallpaper like the other thing, but it looks kind of conspicuous. Chandelier time and magic. What was in here again? I actually forgot this was almost here. Janice. For hall. Over the Alps, a novel traveling game for two to six players. Well, I guess I missed that board game earlier. Cause I almost forgot this closet existed. Good fellow high school. Hmm. Not too much to say. Cut the power? I'm not gonna get the power, apparently. Only one last thing to try. Or may maybe not. Yeah, I don't really do much faith in it. Taking a look around the place. Da -da -da -da. Face to face, I'm gonna go. I'm going to try, and I'm going to turn the brightness up, because I'm going to turn off every light, simply because I feel like it. So, brightness all the way up. 
here's the store. Process, turn off every light in the fucking house. All lights must be eliminated. I need to put a closure on my game's life. Lights off, make everything creepy. Lights in here already died. So I'm good. You guys are going to experience the loveliness of having all the lights in the house frickin' off. Turn off TVs. Now you. And you. And what else can I turn off and make our lives in the dark? Well, let's find out. That's off. These are off. I guess I'll first go to the basement and make sure all the lights are off. Mm -hmm. Up here. Turn you off. Turn you off and turn you off and turn this light right here off. How do I turn this light off though? That light's still lit. So are these Christmas lights. Is there a way for me to turn this shiz off? I guess not. Turn you off. You off. And you off. And you off. Look at me, I'm saving electricity. Now then, I guess the only thing to do still is to make sure that the whole entire place doesn't get to see a single dim thing of light ever again. Make my way to the fucking basement now. Turn that up. And work down here. Now check this light off. And off. And off and off and off. Over here is, uh, yeah, this area. Turn the lamp off. Turn that off. Go to the main hall. Is there a light switch around here? I don't even know. All I do know is that I'm turning every single light off in this whole entire building. Those are off. And these lamps need to go off. No power. Wherever plausible. This closet lights needs to go off. Still so much more I need to turn off. Da 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 da. Mm -hmm. Is there a light switch around here? I don't remember if there was or wasn't. All I know, light off. Light off. I wasn't done with this here hallway. It's just there's so many twists and turns around here. Turn that off. Turn these lights off. Turn this lamp off. Turn this light off. Turn the TV off. See this very invigorating adventure? Turn all the lights off. Alright. I go down here. Here's another place full of light. Turn off. Turn off. And I guess the lights overall once you get this closet. Is there anything across here? Guess not. In which case, turn off. Very nicely dark in there. Now this is where uh, the basement's about to come to place. So I'll go in the basement through here. This is turned off, right? This looks surprisingly bright. Looks so. Let's need to turn off whatever's down here then. Listen to that music. You can hear it very well right now. Everyone lives in a dark world. Now, still not enough room for lights to be turned off though. Flip a few switches. The darkness lives. 
think I'm almost done turning off all the lights inside this house. Only a few more have to go. And then darkness reigns. Now we're around here. Good, turn the lights off over there. Turn the lights off, I believe, over here. It's just the window reflection. Now it's down here. I need to go and turn off lights anyway. Turn off. Through the kitchen, through the dining room. Turn off the lamps and anything else that permits a light source. Guess there's a light switch somewhere around here. Turn these lights off. And the pantry light. And this light. Let's go through here. And that one off. There's the power switch. The lights turned off. Hmm. There's the light switch. Still a few more to turn off though. A person who turns off lights job is never done. I have the sink on there, right? There's no light switch here, but there is a lamp I can turn off. I think I've turned off most every light in the house. I'll turn you off. Dark. Isn't it? Spooky. Ain't it? Still a light though. Couple lights on. Very worse, I haven't found the light switch to this chandelier yet. Was there even a light or the light switch over there? I swear to god there's a light switch in here though. I remember this room. Maybe not. But it'd have to be a light switch to the chandelier somewhere, right? The chandelier is always can be turned off in my experience. What flip do I turn it off at though? It's ruining my dark now. Oh, wait, there's also this light lantern here. I almost missed it, it's all that. Oh, and in here. That doesn't turn that off though. But oh, there's a few more lights left. My sister's room, right? Through here in general. TV off. Lamp off. Pull this light off. There's also the bathroom over there that needs to be turned off. 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 Now through here. Hmm. Gonna run this way anyway. Anything else I've forgotten? It's a big house, but I'm getting a handle of it. Walk into the basement, I suppose. Let's see. There's not blood on the bathtub, that was a hair thing. It's supposed to look like blood, but it's actually just a hair stuff. Basement. Now that I have my brightness turned off, it looks like there's a door that's been covered over there with veins in front of it. Doesn't it? There's also that toy horse in here. And this and that and everything. But yeah. Regardless, going this way. Hmm. Freaking barred windows. Furnace. Mysterious furnace light source. Up here I go. The lights in the attic. 
And the lights. Actually, am I sure this light isn't on? I guess I'm certain. I think this is good for now. Despite the fact I can't figure out how to turn off like three lights. The chandelier light. The light on the front porch. And the light in the attic. So yeah. Oh wait, there's this lantern. Ha 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 ha. Always the lights one forgets about. Anyways, I'm gonna stop playing this for now. Save and quit the desktop. Yes.